Hi, my name is Eric Ashby. I'm the head of product uh, at HelpShift. Today, I'm going to show you the modern support journey, which allows for a fully integrated, efficient, and effective support experience for leading mobile games and mobile apps. I'm going to show you how an in-app experience with, within a real playable mobile game, uh, so you can see that how real-time, how bots, AI agents can work together and provide you the best in class in-app support. So let's get started. In this example, let's imagine that uh, I've been playing this game. Now I like to play it every every night so that I can actually get a five night award. This is an award that you get for after playing uh, every night, but I noticed that I don't have this reward and so I'm a little bit worried about it. So I would like to find out what is actually going on. So the first thing I can do uh, in here, as you can see, there's a little question mark at the bottom that's that's indicating where I can get help. Let's do that. And that will take me into the help center. Now you can see in the help center right here, you have several options. I can, in fact, if I just want to get help, I can simply search on something by clicking on that. Uh, but also you can see that there are popular articles, which allows me to scroll into the most popular things. So here, I'm just going to choose right from the top missing rewards since that's one of the common problems. Now that I'm in the missing rewards, um, I can see all sorts of information about it. Um, this provides me a rich experience so I can, I can check the progress. I can, or, or in fact, I noticed down here at the bottom that I can contact support if there's additional things that, uh, that I might need help. In this case, um, I really need some help because I think when I looked at the progress, it's not showing that I've earned it, but I really would like to, to get some uh, help because I think I have. So as you can see up in the corner here, there's a little chat bubble and that allows me to start a conversation with support. So now you can see when this comes up, uh, I have this experience and this is called Smart Intense. And we've already created four intents for someone. So when they come in here, they can really quickly, easily find the intent such as missing reward. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually just start typing um, as if I was starting a conversation to see what would happen here. So I'm gonna type in, um, I'm gonna type in, I don't have my prize. And you can see as soon as I type in, I don't have my prize, the missing rewards came to the top even though I didn't type the word missing or reward. And that's because our AI is automatically trained to identify what are the most common topics based on what people uh, have typed in for their intent. And so I can very quickly just select this to start the conversation. You can see how this makes smart intents make starting a conversation very easy. Now, what you're seeing with initially here is what's called quick search. Quick search comes up and shows you what might be some of the the common things that people might have. And it's immediately showing me the common articles. You can see that we have uh, missing rewards, missing currency, missing upgrades. These are all tailored a, around the, uh, a common theme here around missing. Um, in fact, I can go into it and I can see here's the FAQ article. But I, in this case, I really wanna talk to someone. So I'm gonna say, no, I would like to have some more help. When starting this, uh, when, when moving on, the lost, the lost Reward Bot has launched. And as you can see, it already knows who I am. You can see it knows my name, I'm Jim Player, knows my level, that I'm the elite knight. And then it's asking me, well, okay, uh, you're here for a missing reward. What reward do I feel that I'm missing? And in this case, it's the five knight prize. Let's see what happens. So if I select the five night prize, the bot then goes out and looks to see if I have qualified for the night five night prize and comes back with that information. Uh, in this case, it says that I haven't qualified because I have four daily wins, not five. This can all be done because the bot can be integrated via an API call. Well, in this case, I'm like, okay, I see that that's what you think, but I think I should have some more wins. So I'm gonna select, I should have more wins. Uh, the bot then decides that since I'm a VIP player, it knows my level, that I should have a conversation with a real human, human agent. And so now at this point, we're going to transition on over and we'll take a look at the agent experience of what's going on here. So I'm going to just bring this up just very quickly. 
And here you can see we have the agent experience side by side with the, uh, with the, with, with the game experience. And the agent here is, um, they're, they're looking at the dashboard and this is where they typically spend uh, most of their day uh, working to support issues. And they're looking under a smart view called all open issues and it's showing me the issues that are open. And uh, the VIP issues are typically on top. They will be sorted that way. And uh, the one that's here is pending reassignment is the one that was just assigned uh, to me as an agent. As you can see here, uh, the agent has complete visibility into the conversation so far, including the bot inter interactions, the bot suggestions, and the AI intent label that this was a missing reward. And so the agent has full context about why the person was here, what they came for, and can respond with, um, uh, you know, with, with uh, having context. Hi, my name is Eric. I will look into your missing reward. And you can see over on the, uh, over in the game, they got that, the, the chat that says uh, that they'll look into it. So now as the agent, I can actually start to look into this and I can see in other information. Let's take a look at the custom issue fields. I can see that he is indeed a, a VIP player. I can see that he spent about $320 on this. I can also take a look at his player ID and go look up to see what the rewards have had. In fact, I found out what had happened is he had actually uh, played five times, but one of the times was just after midnight. So he just barely missed it. But I'm going to be, uh, as a human, I'm going to actually come in and, and make the decision to give him the reward anyways. Hi, I found the problem. You had just missed your fifth day by 10 minutes. Uh, I am going to reward you the prize anyways. So I'm, I'm gonna go in and I probably have a back end tool that I can go in and just uh, give him that reward. So I rewarded that to him. Uh, the person is like, okay, great, that's fantastic. And at this point, the issue is resolved. So as an agent, I'm just going to now resolve the issue. And the final thing that'll happen as part of this is that um, the, I'm gonna read through the, the resolution and you can see here that there's actually a feedback bot that happens after the resolution. Uh, and it will say that, show me that my issue is resolved. And if I, if I wasn't satisfied, I do have the option to open it up again, but I am satisfied. So I'm gonna select yes. And now a CSAT experience uh, will launch that I can then choose, um, you know, rate how well that I, uh, how well this conversation went. In this case, it was a five star. I'm gonna submit it. And then uh, it's happy that they're happy that they, they enjoyed our service. And I can say, this was great. Thanks for the help. So it gives some, some feedback to, to the agent. At this point, I am now done and I can quit and go back. And that's, that's really all that I wanted to show you today. Uh, and I hope that you found this useful. Uh, and uh, if you have any more questions or wanna see a personalized demo, please let me know and we can get back to you.